If it's Louise, I'm having a little semi-goth moment today. I have put on some really bad purple eyeshadow, put on a little lipstick, wearing my velvet, I'm feeling my oats. I also have really fun uh, Nightman earrings in. <laughs> I love them. And also today I'm joined by my son, Reginald. Hi, sweetheart. Hello. Hi, baby boy. Hello. He's just like loafing on some blankets. He's, he's been so cute. Really mad. He does not want to be involved. He just wants to have a nap, but I must insist on harassing him. Hello. So, you're clapping a lot today. Just applause for me. Thank you very much. So today, I thought I would do a little, it's like a first impressions on uh, my new camera that I just bought. <laughs> just tapping on it for no reason. So I got the Canon, C Canon? Canon G7X Mark II, which I'll talk to you about. These are sort of like my first impressions after having playing, like, been playing with it for like a few weeks. Um, and then I will give like a more in-depth review like a couple of months down the line because I'm gonna take this guy to Belfast when we go in February. And I'm gonna see like how it holds up, what like the battery's like, like how good the memory card is and then i'll give you an update on that as well also side note if anyone has any suggestions of like cool things to do in belfast please let me know because currently we're like going to one gig and like oh we might go to giant's causeway but if there's anything good good places to eat good museums any shouts please let me know thank you very much so i bought my camera in like a little it's like a little like starting vlogging gift box kit thing from Argos. So you got a camera, a little like fancy tripod and a 32 gig memory card. And it was about like 400 and, it was 479.99, which is a fair price, I think. Cause I think on some websites, the camera on its own was about that price. And I'm like, well, I might as well get myself a nice little bendy tripod and a memory card. And I did actually buy myself a, another memory card as well because I'm paranoid. The camera itself, very like easy to use, user friendly for like a beginner. Uh, I don't really know what a lot of the settings do on it, uh, so <laughs> for the most part I'm just on auto. Because auto knows best. I used to do photography in uh, sixth form and I just used to shoot on auto all the time and I did fine. <laughs> Even though the teacher was always like, don't do that, you need to put the right settings on it. Like, auto is fine. We all know auto is fine. So, I like it. End of review. Thanks guys, see you on the next one. <laughs> so yeah, I do really like it. It's a like good quality picture. My face is in HD. Uh, so yeah, the picture's nice. I like the little, it's got a little flippy screen on it. I really like that. So I can actually see myself properly. I like all that. Uh, I need to see if you can get like a remote for it because otherwise I'm just like when I'm starting and finishing I'm like reaching over having to press the button and I mean it's fine I can just like cut that out when I'm editing sometimes I do sometimes I don't because I'm a lazy little bones but yeah I like the camera itself I don't like uh it comes with like no instructions uh and I know like it is quite it's just like point and chew but it comes with I got like this little vlogging guide and the tips are like Make sure you charge your battery. Make sure you film, uh, which is kind of useless. I think this is like the warranty. Uh, there's like a safety instruction thing that's like, what does this even say? I didn't read this. Like, don't put the flash in your eyes. Uh, don't choke on any small plastic bits, which fair enough. You do get a guide on like getting started, but that is just, Make sure you charge up the battery and put the battery pack in and put the wrist strap on and then press to take a photo. It doesn't really tell you what any of the settings are or anything. So it's kind of annoying that you have to like do your own research on it. Do your own research, think for yourself, you know? <laughs> and I also didn't like that. It's really hard. I don't know if it's just me being like a dim low or if it's like actually really difficult to like transfer the photos. Because when I went on the Canon website, 
it said like oh you need to download this software and like that was all like the troubleshooting guides and people on forums saying you have to download this software but it wasn't um like it wasn't supported on my operating system and i'm only on like windows 10 so i think it's like quite out of date um so like the options were like you can like plug a cable to it and then put that into like your laptop and transfer it that way but you needed the software for that and to transfer it through like wi-fi to like your laptop you needed software for that as well which the one i downloaded didn't work i don't know if it's just me being uh me being a dumber maybe it is i'll do some more research so i ended up just buying a little like sd card reader which was only like five or so it's not a big deal but like kind of annoying that like straight out of the box i couldn't just transfer the stuff i did manage to get it to work where it transferred onto the cloud but it took bloody ages and you had to like leave the um like the battery in the camera and then the battery would just die like a couple times the battery did just die because like i'd filmed so much and it takes it's like a snail's pace transferring them from like the camera to the cloud via wi-fi it just took absolutely ages which was really annoying uh so i'd like go back and do that again not ideal but uh, yeah because i got this like between christmas and new year i bought the little sd card reader and it took ages to arrive because obviously it's been bank holidays and stuff but that works perfectly but just like really guys i spent like 480 pounds on a camera and you won't even give me like <laughs> like an sd card reader or like the actual capacitor to transfer the photos or like tell me how to do it in the little guide i don't know that was kind of an am but i'm just a little moaning minute you know what i mean so yeah that works fine i guess uh but yeah it's just and then like you don't have a little cable to transfer like i don't like to cable transfer and i have a cable that like fits into the camera but it doesn't work because i don't have the right software but like you're not gonna give me like a transfer cable or anything and I spent £480 and you're not even going to give me this one diddy little cable that costs like nothing because we have about seven of them for some reason. <laughs> but it's the principle. I already had the cable but it's the principle, you know what I mean? I'm just tight. I'm a Yorkshireman at heart and I am absolutely tight with my money. I do not want to spend extra money. So I'm like, why wasn't this here? But anyways, uh, apart from that, I like the camera. It's cute, it's little, I've got my little pouch somewhere to put it in. And it's just adorable, you know, it's just a little guy. So, if you were looking to invest, so far, so good. Uh, it's not like too techy, it's not too fancy. It's like on the lower end of the prices for cameras, but I know like a few people that have used these ones and they're really happy with them. My only gripe is like, the instructions are crap and uh just like the website is a bit like the software i installed literally looked like it was from like the 90s it looked like if you've ever played like cats and dogs you know like the pets games it looked like that like it didn't look legit that i would be downloading this in the year of our lord like 2021 uh and trying to make it work and that's my opinion so far <laughs> like i said i'm gonna be taking it to belfast uh, and do some like filming there so that'll be fun i'm also i want to look into like yeah see if i can get like a remote control for it or uh you know, like an external microphone because i don't know if the sound quality is like the best uh but i will see i will uh do some more investigation i'll take it out on the road a little bit more and i will see how it goes and i'll give you an update in a little bit of time i don't know what i'm doing here so yes that's my opinion i'm just being a little not fully negative answer just a little bit i hate the instructions on the website the camera itself is great uh, the quality for me i'm just always looking at myself in the little flip up bit like who's that pretty bird <gasps> who's she it's me <laughs> <laughs> all right guys that was a little window into my madness i'll see you on the next one bye say bye bitch he, oh, he just turned his back. He's grumpy. He's your grumpest one person. Bye!